In this video, we'll learn how we can reload or refresh modified file automatically in Notepad++. Now, this is a, a common scenario if you're accessing a server log or if you're opening a file that is updated outside Notepad++, but you still want to keep track of that in your Notepad++. Now, every time the file is updated outside Notepad++, you will see this pop-up to update the file. Now, if it's constantly updating, then you will get this annoying pop-up over and over again every time you click on that file in Notepad++. And so we'll learn how we can automatically update the files. And then Notepad++ goes one step ahead and we'll learn how we can take advantage of that as well. So let's start. First of all, let me open uh, this file in Notepad++, uh, this labels.txt file. Now, this could be any file that you, are, you have it open, uh, even the server log and so on. But for... For this example, I'm going to open the same file in just a plain Notepad, and I'm going to edit this file outside Notepad++, and you will see what will happen. So let's go ahead and just update this file with just a new line. I'm going to save it. And the moment I'll click on Notepad++ or make it active, you will see that it will bring this pop-up, right? Basically saying that this file is modified outside uh, by another program. So do you want to reload it? I'm going to say yes. Now, if you have a server log or the file that is constantly updating, you'll just keep getting that pop-up window. And so that is a way to fix this. And all you have to do is just go to settings, go to preferences. And then if you are on general tab, just go all the way at the end under miscellaneous. And then here are different options. So first is file status auto detect. And so all you have to do is check this box called Update Silently. Okay, and let's click Close. And I'm going to go and do the same thing. Let me add another line and click Save, File and Save. And the moment I'm going to click, now I won't get that pop-up window. See, it automatically updated because it was keeping track of that file. Now, this is how you can easily auto-update or refresh the file as it changes. Now, let me give you a quick scenario. So let me just add a few more line here. I'm going to save this and I'm going to reopen this file. Okay. So now again, imagine the same file, but it is a lot more than just few few lines, right? So I'm going to go and do the same thing. And let's say I'm working or I'm looking at this file somewhere over the line number one here. Okay. And then I'm going to update this line. So I'm going to call this line or test three. And again, same method file and save. And then let's click on notepad. Now what actually happened, there was a small flash, like if you notice that. Uh, if you scroll down, you will see that the file is actually updated. But because we had it selected right here somewhere, it doesn't sort of give you a feedback, right? And so probably you might not know that the file is already updated. And so that is where this second setting comes really handy. So let's go back to settings, preference, and again, go to miscellaneous. And then right below this update silent option, there is scroll to the last line after update. And so what this option will do is every time the file is updated, the cursor goes all the way at the end or where the latest, you know, update from that file. So this is really handy because, again, if you're tracking a file, then, you know, you don't have to scroll up and down. You will get right where it is updated, right? So let's test it out. So again, let's say my cursor is somewhere here and I'm going to add another line called test4 and go into file and save. And the moment I'm going to click on Notepad++, you will see that we'll go to the to that this particular line, right? So you can see it automatically just took us to the, the line that it just updated. And so this is really useful uh, because it will allow you to track the changes that has happened to this file. And so this would work with any other files as well that is changed outside Notepad++. And so this is how you refresh or reload uh, a modified file automatically or silently. So I hope you learned something new today. If you did, click on the like button. Uh, and if you like the content of this channel, then please subscribe to my channel. All right. Thanks.